So Giovanni and I are celebrating our two year wedding anniversary in a few days time and that got us to thinking throughout our relationship with me being South African and him being Mexican what are like the certain cultural things that have caused tension in our relationship? And just so you know we have prepared our questions individually so we don't know each other questions so that's yeah. gonna be very interesting. So this is a bit of a funny one. In South Africa, everyone has, or well, most people just have one last surname, last name. My name would be Simone Smith, before I married Giovanni. Okay, correct. Then I marry Giovanni and nothing changes. My name stays Simone Smith while Giovanni stays Giovanni Lop Lop Lopez Gutierrez, which is not really his name. Now correct. we have kids, their names would be Peter Lopez Smith. Smith. So they would take Giovanni's first to last name and they would take my only last name Correct. and you would combine it. I just think the strangest thing about it is that you can have two parents and, and a child and literally all three of you have different last names where in my culture, like your last name unifies you as a family. So I think, yeah, it's a bit weird. But... Yeah. So we guys go to our cappuccino. We're just waiting for our... Oh, great. Oh, look, how so cute, cool. look how cute these screens are. They're a little... Uh, it's a guitar, yeah. 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 Very nice. Giovanni has to eat everything with hot sauce. Everything. And that is definitely something that's got to do with your culture. That's something that I've had to get used to in our relationship. And now I love it. I also eat everything with hot sauce. Yeah, actually, Simone has become a very, <clears throat> sorry, a very hot sauce eater. I've become a hot sauce girl. Ah, good. Looks good. Let's try it. Oh, it's actually quite spicy, here. Hey? Is it? So we just ate our chilaquiles, they were really nice by the way. Um, we've added this cafe to our Riviera Maya map, which by the way, if you buy a Riviera Maya map, you will have access to almost 400 pinpointed locations of interest that we recommend ourselves. So yeah. Restaurants, landmarks, uh, street art, everything. All the things, so you can obviously find that at the link bio. If you're going to use any sort of cutlery, it's only a fork, so you cut and everything with your fork. But if you even use a fork at the first place, I find like you eat a lot of your food with your hands. You use your tortillas to scoop up your, your beans. Unless it's like sauce, saucy, like sauce. <laughs> sauce, uh, saucy food. Everything is like more like food, finger food. With that being said, the point that I'm gonna say this actually blends with yours in South Africa. Everything is like seven o'clock. It's you're seven o'clock in the house. And everything is like pork knife and the serviette. Yeah, everything it, is like six, and then everyone has like their tea and cake. Yeah, like at let, the same and time. let's not start with the tea and cake, which is that's, that's <laughs> another topic. With like family events, it's very casual. Everyone just arrives when they arrive. Very informal. It's very informal. Very casual. Very casual. It's it's very different in terms of structure. Not wearing shoes, specifically like in your house, is like a freaking sin. It is something that like <laughs> Giovanni comments all the time. In South Africa, it's so normal to walk around your house with no shoes on. We just very much are like more connected to the ground, to the earth. I don't know. You're not getting those irons from the earth. Even when Giovanni's mom comes over to our house, she, she's always like, where are your shoes? Why are you not wearing shoes? I don't know. Oh. I, I, can't, I can't explain that. It's just unexplainable. Yeah. Before Giovanni gets into this next point, if you like our, uh, our attire. Ah, I have the same one as you. Yeah, so we're twinsing today. We've got a whole store of designs that we designed from a place of wanting to create things that we actually would wear ourselves. Thank you very much for everyone who has supported us at this point with our merch and with our yeah. guys as well. We really, really appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, you guys are the reason that we're still able to do this, which is freaking amazing and nothing goes unnoticed. When we see your names popping up in our email, it just, thank you guys. Thank you, thank you so much. Yeah. Now this is a, the last point for right now before we, we're going to go and see the Christmas lights later. Yes. The Mexican humor. Oh, how, how dark and red can be and how insensitive also can be sometimes for me something that is very funny for her it's not you know it's not that life is a joke something very hard for us we try to cover in humor we grew up in that way and, and we try to make the things more easy, easy for us like more fun and yeah. lighthearted so this is kind of like the first bit of um, what we wanted to talk about, but we've actually got to go home. We've got some work to do. And then a bit later, we're going to go and check out the Christmas lights and carry on telling you guys about all of the funny quirks between our two cultures.
So we just arrived at the municipal palace. This is the town Pal hall, yeah. Palacio Municipal. Yeah. Obviously, the reason that we came here was to see the Christmas lights and to get a marquesita because I haven't had a marquesita in such a long time. But yeah, let's go look at some Christmas lights. So if you don't know what a marquesita is, it's basically like a very thin crispy crepe that they fill with fillings. There's so many things to choose from, but we always get cheese with Nutella. Sounds weird. It's amazing. Oh, I can start. Yeah, Let's go. continue with this. No, no, no. Comencemos. Me? You start, yeah. Okay. In South Africa, we eat a lot of like cakes, biscuits, which are cookies, a lot of like Cadbury chocolate. So I have a very sweet palate along with most South Africans. He loves a spicy sweet. All the candy <laughs> is covered in freaking chili. All of it. This one, what I like, which is called in Pelon Pelo Rico, it's like chamoy, but they just squeeze it and it goes Horrible. like outside of his head. <laughs> Quite funny. Horrible. But it's very good. <laughs> I will talk about more like about traditions. There's a lot of traditions mm -hmm. that we celebrate here that all the time I ask to Simone about what do you celebrate? When do you celebrate your independence? Like, we don't have Independence Day. And it was like, <laughs> do you should have some sort of independence? Or from like Heritage Day. I, I mean, I might be a bad South African, but I think I can speak on behalf of a lot of South Africans. We're just like, yeah, it's a public holiday. We don't have to go to work. We don't have to go to school. Whereas Mexicans really hold on to traditions. That's a good point. Yeah, I agree. Actually, the accent. What do you mean? Well. You know, like we are close to the states, where are, are our neighboring is, is a neighboring country. We're used to, a lot, we're very used to their accent. Yes. And for me, when I first started hearing Simone, I actually thought she was British. She uses a lot of British, um, British English, British English, and also she has a lot of slang, a lot of South African slang that sometimes for me is a little bit hard to understand. And sometimes the pronunciation of things like. Ice and us. She said us. No, I said us. Water, water. <laughs> water. What? She said water. Or she calls she calls things different differently than the English words that I know. For example, traffic lights. They robots. call them robots. A stroller is a don't don't tell me don't tell me don't tell me. Prawn. But it starts with a P. Pram. I actually really enjoy it, but at first I was like, oh, this is quite, a, quite something, is you're very affectionate. Carrying on from like the kind of British mentality that I was brought up with, I would say British culture is definitely not very affectionate. It's very much like standoffish, like, hello, good evening. Whereas Mexican culture is like literally the opposite of that. Like literally, so that's something that I had to get used to with you. That you Especially when people is drunk, eh? Oh yeah, you they guys get, get incredibly affectionate. Like I had to get used to all the hugging and the kissing and it's something that I really like now, but it's something that it's, in the beginning of our relationship I was like. Tis the season to be jolly. Fa la 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 la. We have moved places. Yes, we moved to Akakao. Anyways. Yes, sir. Okay, so this one is like but you can literally sleep anywhere, anywhere. I think it's because you like grow up like sleeping in hammocks, sharing beds with like many family members. It's... Sleeping in hammocks is very common here in the Yucatan Peninsula, but uh, it could be, it, it could be a thing. Mm -hmm. uh, that's why I can't sleep on the floor. I can sleep pretty much everywhere, but Simon can. Oh yes, it's a beautiful boy. As for likes then, as for <laughs> likes in this video. Who wouldn't love this guy, eh? Who wouldn't love this guy? We are finally at our very last point of this video and this one I know that we're unanimous on because this is something we actually speak about quite often amongst ourselves. In South Africa, most people have a deep understanding and respect and love for animals. Something I noticed in Giovanni right away is he did not share that same belief and feeling. So I didn't grow up with animals and I understand and I get that. But... Where are you going, Michael? What? Oh, he's, he's gone. gone. Okay. I'm gonna bring him back. <laughs> Something personal from her that it's the, the love for animals, but I think her culture embraces the love for animals on, 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 a, on a deeper level. Everyone yeah. that I know as a South African, they love animals. They will always talk about the bush. Because of Ted, 
and you know getting used to how intelligent and emotional he he is you you just in general have developed a much deeper understanding and love and appreciation for animals yeah i mean he's one of a kind anything negative that we've said about mexico or mexicans is a wild generalization these are just the things that i have noticed from being married to a mexican we've been together for six years and these are just the things that i've noticed doesn't mean that everyone is like that but yeah that's the the value in not just traveling but actually living abroad really opens your mind up and when you are in a relationship from so with someone from such a different culture and i would say our cultures are so wildly different yeah. it really forces Even you to more. question the beliefs that have been instilled in you from you know from your upbringing and it really gives you the opportunity to open your mind and yeah i'm really grateful for our relationship i'm very grateful for all the challenges <laughs> all the challenges that we faced all the little arguments and fights that we've had because a i lot. mean there, there's been a lot it's been, a, been lot. a lot Cul but it, it really has like both opened both of our minds up so much culturally yeah it has been a very big challenge but mm -hmm. I'm, I'm i'm very grateful for that yeah I'm very grateful yeah. yeah this is our very last video for 2023 we just really really want to thank you guys so much for all the love and support that you guys have shown us this year for each and every one of you that chooses to click on our videos every single week yeah. every single one of you that likes and comments and shares our stuff and also for the big launch of all of our like business related stuff this year with the support on our digital products the support with our physical products all the coffees that you guys have bought us all of the gifts that you guys have brought us to brought to mexico we appreciate you guys so much we literally wouldn't be doing this if it weren't for the love and support that we receive from you guys so we both just really want you to know how much we appreciate you and we're just so thankful for all the support that you guys continue to show us yeah we're very grateful for that and thank you very much for all what someone say that i think it's something that motivates us every single day to keep going and going and going yeah even when things get hard we yeah. just keep going because of the support that you guys keep showing us yeah. yeah so in a few days we're gonna be doing a live stream so you're Feel free to join us. We would like to see you there commenting. We're going to do a, a final Q&A for the year. Mm -hmm. Thank you for tuning in. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give us a big thumbs up. And we will see you next year in the next one. Hasta, Hasta luego. luego. <laughs>